my name is Fathom and sorry for the lack of videos lately, I just really had no time at all to make any videos at all. I had no time at all, but anyway, today we're back. Today we're gonna check out a fully upgraded Toyota Celica in-game or Scalico GTF. It's fully max upgraded, but it has low grip tires, so let's see some all-wheel drive drifting. Let's follow this uh, track that is set up here. It would be useful if it uh, could help. Uh, if it, it would be very useful if the revs could be kept up very high. But as you can see, the revs really go down once you start to slide. It's still pretty fun though. That was a reverse entry right there. And this car, let me tell you, is fucking overpowered. It's this car is amazing. Overshot it way too much. And did not see that corner. Alright. Of course, this that does not feel like velocity or 5M drifting, but it's a step in the right direction, definitely. Let's try to do some. Uh, let's try to do some uh, reverse, or not really. This whole update just feels so good, and it. I think this update re really revived the entirety of GTA Online. Just like the heist update in 2015 or 2014 woke up the entire GTA Online community. Because GTA, GTA Online was pretty dead, then there came this LS Tuners update and it single-handedly revived the entirety of GTA Online. It's amazing. I'm so happy this came to be. So, that was low grip. Toyota Celica all-wheel drive, of course, just as the god intended. I'm so bummed that we can't adjust suspension well enough and we can't make the fitment better, but at least we can do this thing, uh, which I cannot do right now, or can I? I... You are too far from your room. I am in it, you fucking dumb. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Remember to join my Discord server to stay in update with everything that happens. And see you guys next time. Cheers!